the first table I'm going to create is the phones table. Now the phones table will look like um, a lookup table. It will just have the two fields in it, that's the reference and the phone name, and five records. Let's have a look at the, the list of phones. So it's a list of all the people with all the phones, but there's only five unique phones there. Starting off with the, uh, the Sony Ericsson Silver. So we'll call that number one. And we'll label all those number one. This will help us when we're transferring the information over later. The classic will be number two. Let's make sure there's not any more down there. Classic will be number two for all the classics. Okay, I missed one there. J800 will be 3. Fourth one will be the 910i. And the fifth one will be the slide. Okay. So what we need is a table with the the 880i, the classic, the G800, the W 910i and the fifth one is the 6500 slide. Let me show you how to do that. So create table in design view. The first field will be called ref which is going to be our auto lookup field. So from the drop down box take auto number because we want access to number them for us. And the next one will be name. We don't need 50 characters. We can cope with 30 characters. We think that should be enough. Okay. You must tell Access that you want ref to be the primary key. The way you do that is you select the reference field and you click the primary key icon here. Close that, save it, and we're going to call it phone. Okay, let me show you how to populate that. We're going to take these five phone types over into this table. Widen that up. The first phone is going to be the Sony Ericsson, so paste that into here. The second one is going to be the Nokia, so paste that into there. The third one is going to be the J800i, so paste that into there. The fourth one will be the 910i, and the fifth one will be the 6500 slide. Okay, so there's our table created.